come on in. Good morning and hello everyone. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I am over the moon about today. We are going to show you a 2022 Dutch Star. Uh, this is a spectacular RV all because of Larry. Larry has designed the most magnificent coach for his guest. Um, and I want to remind you as you go through your RV shopping experience here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV, everything that you see here could be yours. It's really easy. If you have a great sales guide and a fantastic team behind you, you can have whatever RV you'd like. It just takes a little planning and some patience. Um, and I'll tell you, we have a lot of really nice inventory coming in that doesn't uh, have a name on it that's not spoken for. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. You can reach me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Thank you so much for joining us today. As usual, I love to do my RVs inside out. So Jody Cohen, take her on back. Let's start from the fantastic restroom um, or rear, I should say, restroom in this coach. Uh, this is a bath and a half model. This is the floor plan 4328. Very much like the 4369, which is a very popular model made by Numar as well. Uh, the difference here is really going to come in where the kitchen is located on this coach. But a lot of the similarities you'll find uh, in this coach are really, really um, just magnificent and part of what is our most popular selling line for Numar. Uh, so the 4328 um, and the 4369 are very, very similar uh, with a swap with where the kitchen is. Um, one of the things to note about all Dutch stars though is that you have this magnificent cathedral ceiling. So this cathedral ceiling gives you an additional six inches of room above your head and where that benefits the consumer is really in the shower. Now you'll note that this is an adjustable shower head uh, so this can go up and down in a toggle. It is a rain, it is a rain head. There's also a magnificent wand. I love the dark metal finish that you have here. And then these little touches that you find, for instance, having a bar here to hold your uh, toiletries in place is great. Now this beautiful teak bench that folds down and allows you to sit is also spectacular. And as you can see here, we have a lot of room. So there's a lot of room in this shower, very, very comfortable space. And on top of it, you'll notice this little switch. So this is the Aquaview shower system. It's really important to understand in one position what this is doing is recycling that hot water so it's going back into your tank and therefore not wasting your 105 gallons of fresh water or your 60 gallons of dry, gray water tank. Ooh, let me make sure it's 60. I think it might be actually 75 gallon gray water tank. Um, so your 75 gallon gray water tank won't fill up with that unused hot water. It'll just recycle back into the uh, water compartment. Um, all that being said, when you turn the switch off, it stops recycling. So if you're plugged into city water and you're not using your Aquaview system correctly, you're just going to overflow that fresh water tank. So for those of you who aren't familiar with that um, feature, it's really fantastic and it just saves a lot for you. Uh, if you're out boondocking, for instance, and maybe you want to go ahead and hold on to as much of that fresh water as possible so you can stay out a little bit longer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop out here. Sorry, Jody, I know it's a little close quarters in this potty. Let's see, so here we go. So one of the nice features on uh, Newmar, and this is going to be a standard feature, feature at the Dutch Star level, is going to be your uh, ex exit or egress that you have from the rear of the coach. So historically, I do really bad at opening these. Um, it's usually my fault, operator error. But what you can see here is it's very nice. There's a magnetic cover. You can deploy this ladder. And if you need to escape the coach, you can do so. The other thing though that you can do that's really, really nice in a Dutch Star, or any coach that has this egress door, is load your coach. So in other words, if you would like to go ahead and get your linens brought in, maybe your uh, laundry detergent, all of your toiletries, things along those lines in between trips, you can easily do that. Now here, I mentioned laundry room. You can see we have these great doors that open all the way to make it very easy. You've got your Splendid stackable washer and dryer. Uh, you can use this while you're driving. So if you're not familiar with that, that's 100% true. Uh, run your generator, uh, load your laundry, get everything done in between trips instead of having to do it later uh, when you actually arrive at your destination. Also in this coach, we have a really fantastic 
um, closet here. You know, Jody, I think this coach is running. I'm going to go turn the engine off because it's a little bit noisy back there. Now, as you'll notice as I'm walking through here, it's not noisy throughout the rest of the coach. And that's because your generator is located up front. Uh, but there and back where you have that closet, um, if you've got your engine running, of course, it would be nice and noisy. Uh, nice thing about that, though, with the generator up front, you won't hear any of that engine noise uh, when, the coach is, uh, when the coach is off or the engine's not running. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this, cli this client did order um, these uh, little insets here, so you could put shoes up here. All of the shelving is carpet lined, really, really high end finish, and they also opted for the optional safe here in the back. And you'll note that we do have our LED lights above and also a really nice shelf. So this is a really smart design, really enhances the space that you have that's usable in this RV. And it's a nice deep closet, which is great. Uh, so you've got a towel holder here. Look at all of this. This is incredible amount of um, medicine cabinet space. And really nice, you've got your uh, two 110 outlets there with a ground as well. And then everything once again is carpet lined. Again, I just love this dark metal finish on our faucet system. And you'll note that we have so much storage here underneath. So really fantastic space here. And this coach does have the in-floor heating. Um, and so you'll note that even this little step cover here, I'm sorry, engine cover here is also heated now, which is pretty cool. And now these drawers are all full extension. So you can see tons of room for you and a guest, which is really nice. And a little more storage here as well. So I mean, all of your linens would easily fit here. You could keep your sheets, your towels, washcloths, everything that you need, beach towels. Uh, really, really nice. But once again, uh, Newmar always has their robe hook up here, which I think is very important. And then here on our switch panel, you'll see there's a few different things that are really easily accessible. So you've got your high, medium, and low floor heat. All of your light switches, you can turn your fan on and off. And then this is your aquamizer system as well. So this is the light for aquamizer. This does not turn the system on and off. What it does do is it turns a light on. Uh, on that system so that when you uh, at when it's when it's hot it'll actually change colors uh, but please keep note it's really important that uh, overall that faucet switch is what you need to use uh, we've had a few run-ins where we were relying on the light and not the switch so I want to make sure we make note of that um, so you'll see here we have um, all tile throughout this coach um, this is thanks to more floor uh, you know Numar when they launched the slide technology for the RV industry really enhanced the amount of room you could have in a coach. And so with this full wall slide on the right hand side of me, and then the bedroom slide on the left, you have a fantastic bedroom. Um, you have these beautiful hanging wardrobes, along with uh, six drawers below, a really nice dresser. Uh, these drawers, of course, are also full extension, really deep, which is magnificent. And then, of course, this is just nice to have a little dresser area where you can keep your cell phone, maybe charge your laptop. Uh, there is a um, extender right here for your uh, outdoor uh, carefree awning package. And then there's also 110 outlets up here if you'd like to charge along with an additional emergency exit. And then this little cabinet here, you'll note, is where you could keep your own receiver. So if you wanted to have multiple receivers in this unit, you would have one right there. And then another hanging wardrobe right here above as well. And all of these have lights in them, so it's very convenient. Just turn them on and off so you can see what you're doing in the early morning if you're getting ready for a hike maybe before the sun comes up. Uh, let's take a look, though, at one of the nicer features in this coach. So this client really did um, just deck out this RV. Uh, this is a king size bed, of course. You've got cross ventilation. This fantastic headboard is absolutely decadent. Um, and then you have, of course, this great overhead storage. There are two 110 outlets here. And then there are grommets that go here through here. So if you have any kind of electric device that you'd like to keep plugged in, you're welcome to do that. You can run the cords through, keep it plugged in. Very nice that you don't have to run them anywhere else. If that's not enough cords for you though, on either side of this bed with both nightstands, you have a little slit here 
and that allows you to run cords in and out. So no longer do you have to leave the door open. You've got two 110 outlets and two USB outlets. And this little pocket here allows you to run any kind of cord you like out there. So if you've got something like maybe a little more substantial for an iPad or for a computer or a laptop of some sort, great place to be able to keep everything. Um, now here also, new for 2022, our KIB light switch has an all off feature. Um, really important for you to understand if you turn everything off from your bedroom, you will have to turn everything back on manually. So there's not an all on light switch <laughs> and uh, it's not a big deal, but it's not the right place to find it. You want to know that in advance. That way you can kind of coordinate whatever you're thinking when you hit the all off button uh, because you might have kids in the front or whatever else and they'll need to find those switches and turn them back on. Now just to Jody's right, you'll see that we do have a beautiful smoky mirror just above this wainscoting and it's just lovely, really, really nice place if you need to get dressed in the morning and you want to be able to see how your outfit looks before you head out for the day. Great place to do that there. And then Jody, I'm going to go ahead and close this door so we can show how absolutely decadent this smoked glass is on these doors. Look how beautiful this is. So Newmar's construction quality is really not a mystery. Um, everything is made by Newmar on site. So as these coaches come through, they're made to order. There's not a backlog of countertops and cabinets and they just kind of bring them in and they assemble them as they go through. They actually make each component for this coach for this coach individually. And what it allows us to do is really control the quality and make sure everything matches appropriately. And this is down to the paint. Even the paint is all done in one batch so you have good color matching. And I can't wait to show you the outside of this coach. It's a brand new color for 2022. Of course, there are four new paint combinations. And today we're looking at the Mirage decor on the interior with the Glacier Glaze Maple on the interior for the wood finish. And then we'll be looking at the Wiley graphics on the outside and they are Wiley. I really had to find some good pants to wear for this show. Um, okay. So we talked about the, the heated floors, but keep in mind, bathroom, bedroom, and then galley. So you've got three zones, and in your galley, you're going to find a fantastic amount of, of pantry space here. Now keep in mind, back in 2021, we changed this. So if you push in, it releases and it pulls out all of your drawers. These again are all full extension. You've got six drawers. They are adjustable in height. And the, like I said, they're all full extension, really, really nice. You can change if you want to keep soup cans maybe here, but maybe your heavier items like olive oil and such down below, you can do that. Just really, really great feature of this RV. Uh, here next to us, we have our Whirlpool microwave. Of course, this is a three drawer. Uh, this does have a water heater. I'm sorry, water filter. <laughs> no water heater in the, mic or in the refrigerator, I apologize. Um, also, you'll note that it has this great shelf that is adjustable so it goes in and out and then on top of that you've got a really nice meat and cheese drawer down below along with vegetable and fruit drawer as well all adjustable and there is again a water filter here so that in addition with your, to your whole house water filter outside in this uh, in the cleaning bay will give you a complete um, filtration twice before you get your water out of the door here uh, you'll also have a uh, ice maker down below and then a really nice deep uh, deep freezer here. Now keep in mind this client has opted for the three cubic foot additional uh, Dometic freezer on the outside. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later. And that can be used as both a freezer or a refrigerator. One of the things that's nice about that, if you want to keep your icy cold beverages outside, it's a great place to store those. Uh, so right past this uh, first part of our dining area, you'll see that we have this fantastic kitchen. And this is really, really nice. So for those of you that are uh, really into cooking, if you are a chef, you'll note that this is part of the slide here. So you have all of this additional prep space. What's so nice about this is if you're making a nice meal, you can get all of your ingredients prepped and then you've got this fantastic induction cooktop. And keep in mind, the true induction cooktop that you see here is uh, not only really great because it has a very precise cooking measurement, but one of my favorite things about this um, so I went to uh, the home uh, appliance place. I'm building a new house right now. I went shopping. And when I asked the gentleman about a uh, really good gas stove versus a really good electric stove, he said, hands down, there's nothing better than true induction. And that's because it's so precise and it's heating. It's so quick. Uh, he went ahead and gave us a demonstration. And this is what really caught my attention. He put a paper towel down on top of the true induction cooktop. 
and he put a, a pot of water with three cups in it. Then he took a propane, uh, propane, I'm sorry, not propane, gas stove, and took three cups of water and put that on to boil. He boiled the water and before there was even any like bubbles coming out of the one over the gas stove on the true induction stove. And he did it while it was on top of a paper towel. Now where that spoke to me was first of all, oh my gosh, this is so much faster. Yes, I like that a lot. I had already recognized that in my own RV and it's one of the reasons I opted for an induction cooktop at my new home. Um, but on top of that, the safety that's involved there, the fact that if I've got a 13 year old daughter making me breakfast in the morning, I don't have to worry about her catching her hair on fire or something else because it's a little bit tighter quarters. Um, this is a huge safety feature. And then on top of it, you can have one set of pots and pans because this is removable. You can take this outside and you can actually use it to make bacon, cook trout maybe, you've got some fresh caught trout, whatever it might be, you'll be able to take that outside and use it on your kitchen or your patio table as well as cooking with it inside. And then please note that Numar does give you two cutting boards here in the coach as well on the back of your covers. Now I do like to take one of these covers and leave them at home and I put a little breadboard here that is a little bit more shallow than this, uh, than this lip. That way I can put my phone on there and while I'm driving it doesn't go flying off but these are all personal preferences, right? So here uh, above the cooktop we do have a fantastic microwave and convection oven. Um, so this is both, you can heat this to uh, 350 degrees. I never knew that convection just meant that it moves the air around. So this functions just the same as a regular oven. You can preheat it, make cookies, or you can use it to microwave a piece of pizza, whatever suits your fancy. Um, I love, right above this magnificent cooking area, all of your spices. And again, this is carpet lined just to keep the rattles down. Super, super nice, fantastic. Of course, this magnificent uh, craftsmanship is really evident. Um, what a nice place to keep. Can you imagine olive oil, salt and pepper, everything that you need to cook just right here in your cooking area. This is really a chef's kitchen. Uh, a little more space here. Again, nice shelving, all adjustable. More space once again, maximizing and utilizing everything. Uh, those books, by the way, have a guide on every component in this uh, RV. So that's very, very nice. More cabinet space. So this is a great, great galley. Um, so also you're going to note that we have two beautiful stainless steel undermount sinks with magnificent residential style faucet. Uh oh, you know I did that last time. Sometimes I get that stuck. Let me just go back down below and pull that through. Uh, but so this magnificent residential style faucet is super, super nice because it really, oh, maybe not. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So. I didn't know this. There's a catch and release. If you pull it all the way up, it's just like a uh, power or just like a manual shade. It'll just release and go all the way back up. That being said, this coach does not have manual shades. It has the optional power shades too. Okay, so while we're down here, might as well take a look at your trash can and then a nice space back here for all of your cleaning supplies and then even more space if you wanted to have a recycling trash can or maybe some of your um, cooking supplies, you can keep those there. And then this little spot here is for your slides, or I'm sorry, for your covers. So these will, fly, these will slide in right here and they'll stow while you're moving. So you don't have to keep, you know, you don't have to stack them somewhere throughout the coach. There's a nice little place to keep them. Um, okay, so we've covered everything here. Oh no, we missed this part. The remote drawer. No, I'm just kidding. This is not the remote drawer. This is actually a drawer for all of your silverware. All of the remotes are here. I just wanted to point out, this is the control for your Gerard awnings. You've got two controls here for your MCD shades. That is because you have a control for all the shades here in the front and all the shades in the bedroom as well. And then you've got your Bose uh, controller. This is for your sound bar. You've got a sound bar here and in the bedroom and outside as well. And then all of your television remotes are here as well. This RV has a TV here. It's got one on our televator. It's got one in the bedroom and it's got one outside. So that's four TVs to keep straight. Um, lastly, and maybe uh, most importantly, this is your sleep number remote. So this is going to help you and your partner have both comfortable sleeping situations. And I guess maybe lastly is this one. Uh, wow, how cool is that to be able to lock and unlock your doors um, or your, uh, your storage underneath with a key. That's really, really handy. Uh, also part of this coach, of course, there's a button uh, that does power locks on, uh, on, on the exit as well. 
but it's nice just to have it on your keychain. You get there, you just need to have one door open, really easy to access. So um, all of that being said, lots of stuff that's nice there. And then here you'll see that we have our dishwasher. I'm not going to turn this on right now because I don't have um, the power to the accessories on. You'll see everything's off. Uh, but this is great, um, nice place to keep not only uh, your dishes, but you could keep your pots and pans while you're in motion uh, here. It's a great place to stow things while you're driving. And then four more full extension, super high quality drawers made by Numar, all soft clothes. Love that. Um, really, really nice feature. So uh, of course we've got our optional kitchen window as well. And then one more place for tons and tons of storage room. Again, this is really a chef's coach. So if you are one of those folks that's looking uh, to get out there on the open road and you really want to have that same experience that you have in uh, you know, living at home, but being able to do it while you're waking up in a beautiful new place every day, this is the RV for you. This will allow you to have that really first class experience in terms of lifestyle combined with the mobility to go anywhere you'd like to go. Um, so this is going to be a nice uh, opportunity to see the buffet and desk combination. A lot of people ask about this. So we do have two more seats and we have leafs so you can actually um, bring this out. But it's also going to double as an office. So here is that extra leaf right here. Jody, if you wouldn't mind, and then your two extra st extra chairs. So as you'll note, um, you've got a ton of additional space available in that leaf, and then you have these two extra chairs. So if you'd like to have um, drinks for six, dinner for four, and sleeps two, this is the way to do it. Um, so really, really nice. Now before we get to that desk setting, let's go ahead and take an opportunity just to take a look inside of this restroom. So here's your, your central, uh, central command. Um, on this side, you'll have all of your uh, breakers and you've got all of your fuses, very easily accessible. But take a look at all of this storage. So this goes all the way back. If you're one of those that wants to make sure you have all the first aid kits, all the band-aids, all the suntan lotion, everything that you need, very easy to do. And what's so nice about this is that this is a full second bathroom except for the shower. But if you want to keep your curling iron and your hair dryer here, maybe you get up a little bit earlier than your husband and you want to be able to get dressed and ready to go. This is a great place to give a second restroom. Um, of course, this would be my husband's restroom and it would be, mine would be the big one in the back, but maybe you're a little more generous than I am. I don't know. Uh, here we go. So more space underneath. Once again, very nicely uh, finished, compartmentalized, uh, keeps everything separate so you can put things in nice and tight so they won't fall over while you're traveling. And then I love the vessel sink here on uh, the countertop along with a touchless flush. Very nice there. And then of course you have control over your fan and your uh, ceiling lights here. The nice thing too is you've got your water pump. So if you forgot to turn your water pump on, you can do it right here from inside of the bathroom and you can also turn on the floor heat. So very, very cool in here. Um, the fantastic fans are going to always be rain sensor. Um, so those will close automatically. There is an override for that. And then on this RV, not only do you have all of these fans, but you also have three 15,000 BTU uh, heat pumps and air conditioners. So you've got three ACs on this unit. Of course, you would never see them because they're all camouflaged by this magnificent decorative ceiling. Um, all of your return ducts, everything is uh, really nicely hidden um, and just really well adorned so that you have a very classy look. None of those little circles all over the ceiling. Um, now let's talk about what makes this kind of unique here. So one thing that's really nice is look at all the storage space down below more drawer space. And what's so cool about this is you can take this entire table, move it out, put it in the center of your RV, and then you can take one of those extra chairs and slide it in here and use this as a desk. So there's outlets both here, there's two 110s, and then there's also two USBs, there's a grommet here so you could run your printer to your, um, to, from your computer and have it underneath. You could have your monitor up here above. 
Uh, but this is really designed for somebody who wants to be able to be working on the road mobily and still able to have their dining room set up without having to, to modify things as they're going throughout their day. You can get up in the morning, have breakfast here, do all of your work here at your workstation. And everything is really designed for somebody who maybe is uh, doing a little bit of uh, moonlighting while on vacation, uh, down to the fact where there's a huge file cabinet even. So once again, this coach is just really, really unique. It's a great opportunity to see uh, this desk in place. And then all of this overhead storage here, I mean, this is where you could keep your glassware really nice and on display for your friends. If you've got a great Stein collection from Germany or something like that, that'd be an awesome place to do that. Um, more storage here. And we have Villa Furniture this year, but these are the recliners made by REM. No, not the music band. Uh, the furniture manufacturer, but they are really magnificent. Um, I don't know if you can see how much wider these are than our previous uh, recliners, but this would have plenty of room for you and a Frenchie. Not that I have three. Okay, maybe I have three Frenchies. Well, that's not my fault. You know how that goes. Um, so really nice here, USB ports as well. Lots of storage space here as well. And then you'll notice, Jody, look underneath here. If you're a puzzle family, you can keep all your puzzles here. Just love that. And then dual cup holders as well. Um, once again, we've got ventilation throughout the coach. And then a really fantastic offering that we have also this additional uh, couch on the opposite side of our recliner. So let me just put these so attractively right here. Put that TV up. Well, we do a little transformation. Um, how nice is that? A single cushion. Thank you. Thank you, Numar, for making a single cushion for us. Really appreciate that. And then not only do you have your recliners. Oh, come on. I got this. But you also have your bed. So this is such a cool feature. Um, a lot of times when you have recliners in a coach, you don't have sleeping accommodations for extra people. And here you do. What I really like about this though is that this is a very comfortable bed and it's made and designed so that you don't actually need to have an inflatable mattress, which for me is huge because um, they're comfortable. This is comfortable. This is fine. Um, and I don't have to fold it up and pack it away every day. So I like this setup. So it's very, very nice offering by Numar. Once again, just making it all that much more convenient. Uh, you do have two seat belts here underneath as well. So if you've got, oh, should we show that? Sometimes people need these for their puppies. Sometimes they're not even for their kids. Um, so if you've got like doggy, like little, uh, I don't know, booths that they sit in when they're traveling with you on the road. Great, great little advent there. And then Oh, am I in? Am I in? There we go. Nice and easy. So, like I said, Larry ordered this for his client, who has magnificent taste in Dutch stars. He seems to do this quite frequently. Uh, his trade-in sold in a few seconds flat. Um, but man, he just did such a nice job. And I know that they spent a lot of time on this order uh, getting it all right. I think he bribed us into a brake controller or something like that to let us make a video on it this morning so that we could show you how fantastic a special order can turn out, but it really did. As you can see here, really nice gigantic TV, great place to keep your extra receiver. Uh, this has the SK300 on top of it. If you're a Dish or a Direct TV guy, that's really the difference between the SK300 and SK100. And then, of course, all of these are 4K smart TVs. So if you don't want to have a receiver or a subscription, you can do um, what I do, which is I install a cradle point here at TransWest that has two SIM cards. And then I do everything by like Netflix, Hulu, whatever it is that I'm gonna be watching. And I don't pay for the receiver. I also can do Zoom calls while in motion driving across the country 
And for me, that's more valuable than the receiver subscription cost. So if you have questions about that, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer. Now, one of the things I wanted to cover today is what this coach looks like closed in. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to pop back here, walk over this spectacular, beautiful uh, floor, pull in this slide. And um, like I said, it's a, there's a few things to note um, in terms of construction that are a little bit different. The KIB switch being all lights off is one of them. Um, the fact that the, um, the cabinet height was raised one and a half inches, so you've got a little bit bigger window in each of the kitchen, and then also on the, on the other side, on the, on the driver's side as well. Uh, that's nice and worth mentioning. Um, there's also a dual loop Chinook system for your Oasis system now instead of a single loop, which just gives you a little bit better control over temperature. Um, if you don't know what hydronic heat is, it's not in-floor heating. All the heating on this floor is electric. Uh, hydronic heat is when there's a tube of um, glycol mix or antifreeze running underneath the coach with air pushed over the top of it, creating almost like a naturally, you know, um, in, like not in-floor heating, um, sorry, residential style heating where you've got warm air blowing from, for, for all intents and purposes, a, f a furnace underneath your coach. And um, it's really cool. It, it's much quieter than a heat pump would be, and it also works at lower temperatures, which is awesome. Um, down here, before we close this all the way up, please note that we do have our central vac as well. There really isn't anything missing on this RV. Now, certainly you don't need all of these things, but to be very candid with you, the differentiation in cost is really fairly uh, nominal. And if you'd like to have something that, that has all of the features that you're looking for, this is certainly a great way to have your RV equipped. So this is one of the major features um, that we have done in partnership with HWH. This hydraulic slide lifts and then slides in. And this is what allows you to have more floor. This is what allows you, um, starting I think in 2015, to have an all tile surface in your coach with zero carpet, except for in the cabinets. And what that means is if you've got a friendly furry friend, a fine furry friend, kitty, maybe puppy, you of course have all the more um, ability to clean up after them easily as opposed to having to vacuum the carpets all the time. Um, if, you're a, if you're a fan of the sandy areas and you like to go to the beach a lot, you don't get sand in your carpet. I mean, there's just endless benefits to going into uh, the Dutch Star, which is really the differentiation between uh, the Ventana and the Dutch Star is going to be the fact that you have uh, the more floor in here and then a few other nice little nuances uh, for instance the availability of the MCD shades uh, this year for 2022 though you can have in-floor heating on your Ventana so 1,250 foot-pounds of torque 400 horsepower engine versus 450 I mean there's a lot of similarities if you don't mind carpet you can look at both models I highly encourage you to price them both out and make sure that you get the, the get the Numar that you like because they're all fantastic and uh, you get a lot of uh, bang, for, bang for your buck with the Ventana product. And then of course you get really entry level uh, luxury coach at a shorter availability of floor plans in the Dutch Star. So if you want something, for instance, a 40 foot, uh, when you go into that, you know, London Air, they're all 45. So you can get all that luxury here in a Dutch Star in a shorter coach by having, um, you know, one of your sales guides help you pick out things like the MCD shades uh, that are power, the in-floor heat. So you can get all of those luxury features here in this RV, which is fantastic. So you see here, I've got lots of room. Even I can sit down with my legs fold or my legs on the floor while driving. I can walk through very easily. And then on top of it, I can even access uh, my bathroom. So I can easily access the bathroom. I can also access my pantry. I can access my refrigerator. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close that. I know we're doing the delivery here at 11.30. Um, on that note, um, our delivery at 11.30. Oh, and by the way, you could prep your entire dinner here while moving. So if you're running late to your next campground and you're meeting some friends, you could be ready to rock and roll when you arrive, which I just absolutely love about this RV. Um, but no, so on the note of delivery, so one of the things that really makes unique or makes TransWest unique 
is the fact that here at Trans West we offer three delivery spots per day. So we're delivering 17 coaches per week. Um, so if you think that we're sold out, obviously not because we're doing 17 deliveries per week. Uh, but those three hour slots can go over. They can be six hours, they can be two hours, they can be 45 minutes. Um, I guess the most important thing is Gary Movellan, Tim Frank, Bill Haverkorn, all these guys are here to teach you how to use your RV and to answer questions for you until you feel comfortable. But then after you take delivery of your coach, instead of just kicking you to the curb and sending you down the road and saying, hey, good luck, man, hope you have fun, we have a campground here on site. So you can actually get done with your delivery, go get some lunch, sign your paperwork, and when you get done with all of that, you come out, your coach is plugged in, your slides are out, uh, your heat's on, your air conditioning's on, and you can stay for a night or two and really get your sea legs on so you're ready to take your beautiful coach on the road and you don't feel that pressure of being in a strange campsite in a new RV that you've never used before. Um, you get to do that here. You can get you go ahead and get tested. Now, you don't have to. If you're one of my clients, I'm probably going to want you to stay for at least one night, maybe two. Um, if you get done with the first night and you're like, you know what, we got this man, no problem. But it's really nice for me to be able to answer questions and make sure that you're fully using your coach correctly. And we offer that here at TransWest. Not only that, we're in the middle of the country. You can come here if you want to start off by maybe hitting the Grand Canyon, maybe going to Glacier National Park. Maybe you want to go down to the coast of Texas. Who knows? Something that you would normally not be able to do, buy your RV from TransWest. Now, um, on top of that, those benefits, we are also one of only three facilities in the entire United States that has Freightliner, Spartan, and Elite uh, certification in our chassis shop here on site, along with Numar, Renegade, and Winnebago here on site. So we are certified with both house and chassis in one location, which means if you need to have a tire pressure monitor checked or you need to have a cabinet door addressed, we can do that all here in one place without shipping your coach off somewhere else. Uh, lastly, I think really important, Bill Habercorn. Um, this weekend I had a client who said, my radio won't turn on. We're about to pull in all of our slides and, and pack up our RV for the winter and take it up to park it. They live in Michigan, so of course, you know, when you stow everything, you're not gonna go back in the dead of the winter to get, you know, to look at it again. What do we do? And I said, did you text Bill? So they texted Bill Habercorn, and I got a note back within a few hours that said, hey, I just wanna let you know, Bill Habercorn got back to us, told us exactly what we needed to do, we just did a reset, everything came back online, we were able to stow our RV, we're so happy that we have his service available to us. Um, but that's a big difference and that's something, Bill is paid um, to be your full-time living encyclopedia of RVs and uh, he's here to answer questions for you. He is fantastic. I'm fairly certain he would not need to walk into an RV to answer 95% of your questions. He has these things memorized. He's got years and years and years worth of experience. And he is just a kind soul who does such an amazing job for us. So all of these are reasons that you should consider shopping and buying your RV from us here at TransWest in Frederick, Colorado. Now, Jody, I'm gonna go to the front here. I wanna talk with you a little bit about um, some of the changes that we have. And of course, last year we went to this beautiful dual nine inch screen. As you can see, this is gonna give us a really nice crystal clear display of the rear. Of course, you also have your, uh, you also have your side when you turn your indicators on where you see a video of the right and the left hand side when you're turning. Um, but then on top of this, let me see if I can do this without turning the coach on. There we go. 360, so this client has elected for the 360 view uh, control system, and what's so nice about this is that you have this overview. So that's actually like a crack in the pavement to the left of us. Uh, you can see that we're kind of parked uh, diagonally in our parking lot. So if these were rocks and trees, you would also be able to see everything around you. So that 360 degree system is super cool. Another thing that they've opted for in this coach is they've opted for the mobilized system. So they have not only um, blind spot assist on the left and right hand side of their coach where they've got a lane tracking package, but on top of that, they also have cruise control that will allow them to set the speed uh, to follow the car in front of them with either a three second stopping distance, a 3.3 second stopping distance, or a 3.6 second stopping distance. So super, super cool there. Um, I will see, I, mean, I don't wanna make too much noise but now that we're in the front, 
I want to start this up just so we can take a look here at our uh, front display. So as you'll see, Freightliner comes on. Of course, the Dutch Star is available with both the Freightliner and the Spartan chassis. Uh, the Freightliner chassis gives you a lot of cool things. Um, but as we go through this, I just want to go down here to gauges. So first of all, one of the nice features of the Dutch Star is that you've got your tire pressure monitoring system. So there you can see our tire pressures are all set. Um, and then you also can go down here to gauges and you can see all of the different things that you have going on here. Distance to empty. Uh, you can see your temperature, engine load. So all of those things are great. Um, and then you can also go down here to where it says road watch. So this is where you would set your cruise control and you can see those different stopping distances right there. And then vehicle configuration right here. We can go down and set up our Bluetooth. We can set our uh, units. So if you want to have this set to metric, you can do that as well. And then steering effort. This is a really important feature. So keep in mind, uh, Newmark came up with something that they really felt would change the RV industry and they were right. Um, so we have comfort drive steering on this RV. We have comfort drive steering on all of our diesel pushers. And what that means is that this wheel will go to the middle and stay straight while you're driving. So instead of you fighting this in the wind, when you're driving, this RV will actually tag straight down the road despite 80 mile an hour crosswinds. And you will have so much less driver fatigue. Um, the other uh, huge advantage to this RV is any RV over 40 feet uh, Ventana on up, so you've got to go into that Ventana, of course, Dutch Star being the next level above the Ventana, um, is going to have the passive steer tag axle. And what that means is there's basically like a little pin that is that comes and it, it actually holds the wheel straight and then under 20 miles an hour it releases and allows that uh, tag axle to actually pivot, giving you a much more precise and controllable uh, a degree of parking. So you've got a much smaller turning radius and you can really pair it, especially with this 360 camera, get into sp to tight spaces very comfortably and look like a pro. Even if it's the first time you're driving an RV, you would be amazed at how easy it is to drive this RV. But of course, all of that torque and horsepower always helps. Um, Okay, so power shades we've had throughout the coach because we have the additional package, but you always get your power uh, visor. So you've got a day and night shade both here and then uh, on the side as well. Uh, generator start can be done right here uh, from the center. Uh, the front fan high, off, and low, what that means is we used to have these little fans on either side. They're just coming out now um, without the decorative fan attached to them. Honestly, probably something that I would miss. I think that those are so cool. Um, all of that being said though, really nice stock control. So getting into neutral drive and reverse here. And then you'll notice that your engine brake on the Dutch Star um, is both high, medium, and low. So all three of those settings. Um, for those of you who like to use your engine brake a lot, I used to use mine in high in my Renegade. Um, but now that I'm going to be moving into a Numar product, I'll bet you I'm gonna find myself in that medium zone. Low is just not enough, but I always wished I had a medium. So that's just such a nice part of your engine brake. And then the other part of this is you also have a transmission that you can set so that when you're cruising, uh, you can get better fuel efficiency. So all of that's here in the stock. Of course, you've got your wiper control over here, headlights here. You'll notice that we do have a nice charging uh, pad up here. This is very, very cool for those of you who have, you know, a phone that charges on a pad. Nice that you can keep it up there. So if you hear it, uh, you can, or you hear it ringing, you can go ahead and pull over and stop and look at it or hand it to uh, the navigator. Of course, you've got your cup holders here because we don't have our, um, our transmission controls here. So a little bit extra room. Uh, you've got some really nice auxiliary inputs here. So if you want to play your own, your own music off of your phone and charge it at the same time, it's very conveniently located. Uh, so here you have your power windows, left and right mirror controls, heated, your tag dump. All of these things are just right here. And then of course, HWH not only makes our slides, they also make our hydraulic leveling jacks as well. So super nice there. We did install this brake controller for this client. Now keep in mind, the brake controller is gonna be something that you're gonna use for a trailer. If you wanted to use your Blue Ox system, because this is a Freightliner chassis, it has brake sync. 
Break Sync, if you don't know about it, give me a buzz. Like I said, you can reach me at my email address right here, katie.oneal at transwest.com. I'll send you a spec sheet on all of the uh, additional features that are involved in having a Freightliner chassis. So Brake Sync, uh, V-Ride, which gives you a, a huge amount of uh, stability because it actually wishbones out that suspension in the back. So you're sitting above the wheels with your suspension instead of in the middle. Um, so much more uh, s significant level of stability. Um, again, that tag axle. So all of those things we have on sheets that are printed so you can see what comes with this. But brake sync is super cool because if you're trailering a vehicle and you lose power to your brakes, those air that airline, let's say, is severed or cut or there's a hole in it, your brakes will lock, auto lock up automatically and slow the coach to a stop as a safety feature. But your tow vehicle, if it doesn't have any air to it, is going to be hard to control. Uh, what's nice about brake sync is it actually has a separate line that has its own cylinder that's charged and full of air for you, and that runs uh, congruently with your braking system to your to your tow vehicle. So if you have any kind of brake issues, you'll be able to stop not only your RV but also the vehicle behind your RV, which is a very very nice feature to have. Um, okay, so let's just talk a little bit more. So I am sitting in nice heated seats. They do re they do recline both ways. Nice drawer storage here. Again, we've got those remote controls uh, outside for your uh, bays. Um, those remotes will go on to this key fob, of course. And then we've got our air conditioning. And then, of course, we also have uh, recliners. Um, so these, this would actually come in and out. I wonder if I can just do that for you right here. So if you wanted to turn around, enjoy the party, or just relax, you've got that in your recliners. And then I want to show you the uh, mobile workstation, because that's also a nice feature. So here in this Dutch Star, we have a really nice desk for the navigator. And then also, great little step cover. Fido's being naughty, you just put them under the step and then close the door. No, I'm just kidding, don't do that. God, that's so mean, Katie, how can you say that type of stuff? Uh, but no, so this is just a really nice place to be able to keep um, your paperwork, maybe your laptop, maybe your iPad while you're driving. You'll notice we also have another mobile charging dock here. More uh, 110 outlets with USB chargers. Um, there's actually another two USB chargers on the other side where the driver is as well. So they are all over this coach. Um, and then I wanted to show you above us, we can take a look here at storage. And then up here, you're gonna have all of your slide controls, step cover, lock. Um, this is gonna be your tank, so you're gonna have your you know, fresh gray and black water. Um, again, I think, uh, you know, 75 gallons of gray is just awesome. 105 gallons of fresh is also super, super spectacular. And then 40 uh, or 55 gallons in your sewage tank. So that's also another great um, amount in your coach. Uh, then here, you've got your power control system. Now keep in mind, one thing that people ask me a lot is do you have um, auto gen start? Yes, you can set your auto gen to temperature or time. So absolutely. Um, your engine uh, preheat is nice. If you would like to get your block heater turned on, you can. And this is con controlling basically what is your mobile furnace. Uh, so this is again your Oasis system. Uh, your wine guard system will tell you that we have 17 stations available here uh, by just antenna. Uh, you've got your, ma your magnum. This is going to be where you're going to set your inverter and your auto gen start. This is going to be the control for your um, for your awnings. I'm going to see if I can get these out. It was a little windy earlier, so hopefully we can get those to, uh, out as well. And then I want to go ahead and put these awnings out now that we have um, the coach stopped. And we've shown you the exterior pictures. So, and I don't know if those will work, but we'll see. Um, again, power window here, which is nice for the driver. Big convex chrome mirrors on the outside. And then here is another really major reason, um, with us or not, whomever it is, buy a Numar. Uh, very few dealerships in the country have a Bill Habercorn. So they have to set up a back, you know, a backstop for that. And what you have here is you have Dutch Star customer support specialist Mary and Spencer. These guys have a cell phone, uh, a work cell phone that's forwarded after hours. So if you send them an email or give them a voicemail, they can get in touch with you and help you troubleshoot any of the issues you may have uh, while you're out camping. This is a service not provided by anybody else. And honestly, I've got to tell you, it works. I had a client who had a leaky, um, oh, what is that, hydraulic thing in his King Air 
And you'd think, oh my God, this is like the end of your camping trip, we're done. And he said, Katie, what do I do? And I said, well, it's really simple. Do me a favor, let uh, Numar know, send them your coach number, give them your first and last name and tell them the nature of your problem. He sends me a text message Monday morning and says, hey, Katie, no problem. We're on our way to go camping. We're going to go to Disneyland. They're going to send the part directly to us. It's going to be waiting for us. And then they're going to have one of Numar's mobile people come out and fix it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? I mean, how spectacular is that? Not to mention 62 campsites at Numar in Napanee, if you would like to go have your coach service there. Um, 52 bays. I mean, how incredible is that? So. Yeah, second to none. When you know the difference, you buy a Numar. If you want any propaganda, any literature, any reading materials, I've got it all. I would love to share with you why I'm so excited about this product. Okay, Jody, let's head on outside. Um, before you hit the stairs, let me just show people how this little screen door works. So this is super nice. Um, first of all, you can open this screen all the way. It slides up. So if you want to load things in and out without letting your, friend, your fine furry friend out, you can do that. Then this closes all the way as well so you can keep the bugs out. And you can have some really nice fresh air here. Um, down here on this side, we're going to have our heated seat control right here. This is where you turn your patio lights on, lock it, unlock. We talked about that a little bit earlier. And then also your battery disconnect. Oh, Jody, I'm going to go ahead and um, let me get, let you out. I'm going to turn that engine off because I left that on. While you're showing them that, um, if you wouldn't mind, I'd love for you to go ahead and show a picture of this yellow label on the door here. Um, that's kind of important. One of the things that Numar does, so first of all, they have a few steps to quality control, but at the end of the construction of this coach, of, coach, of course, every coach made by Numar is unique and has different levels of equipment on it, different types of finishes. They actually do their rain test first where they put it under 15 minutes of high intensity, I think two, um, two inches per hour level rain uh, with the slides in and then another seven minutes with the slides out testing for leaks. And in that same facility, when they're doing their quality run, they do a 10 mile test drive in the coach and they weigh this coach. So these measurements that you have on this door, they're not someone else's measurements. These are your measurements. These are your safety ratings made for your coach. Really, really important feature by Numar and by Dutch Star. Really kind of ups the level of service that they're providing. You know what you can put in here. Of course, it's a big number anyway, but it's not like a generic, you know, oh, Dutch Stars all have about this. This is a specific weight rating for your RV. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. So, yeah, I didn't get my awnings out. So. This carefree awning package would give you um, coverage from sun while you were stopped. And unfortunately, a little breezy today, but we do have full awnings both here. And then this has got the additional awning package, which gives you awnings a whole way down this RV. And one of the things that's unique to Numar is they also have a rain gutter system that's tubed. So there's rain gutters on either side of this RV that have a tube that go down to the ground on all four corners under your coach. So you don't get those rain lines you know, with that, with that calcium deposit that you see in some of the older coaches. And that's also unique to Numar. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, dual filling station here. You've got plenty of room for your, uh, for your diesel. This is going to be where we have our Dometic. Again, this is a three cubic liter Dometic a refrigerator or freezer. You pick, you could have it be either one. Um, one of the nice things about this is that you've got two sides. Um, I would use this as a freezer. Great location. Um, also a tray above this year where you've got some more additional storage. And the freezer would be plugged in right here. But what's nice about having this right here is you have a nine volt where you can actually use this to also inflate a paddleboard, which for me would be a huge plus. I'm a big fan of paddleboarding. It's actually how we, uh, we pick all over the places we're going to go camping. Uh, so this RV does have some of the additional slides. They ordered all of the slides except for one. But what's really nice about this is you can see uh, part of the structure of our star foundation here on the left. So this Z-shaped uh, welded frame uh, takes this uh, energy from the entire floor and the heavier aspects of the slide, and it pushes it down to the middle of the coach. And it raises it off of the chassis rail. Now, this does a few different things for us. Most of all, what it does is it gives you a better a focus of gravity to the center of the coach so you don't have that that swaying so that coupled with v-ride really gives you an amazing drive 
Um, that's some extra tile for your porcelain tile floors, which you saw inside. So if you need to replace one, they give you some extra, so it'll be batch matched. Um, now this subfloor is over three inches thick. And what's really interesting about it is they build this floor up, they bring these rails to the bottom of, uh, of their floor. This Luan wood that they, that they use is not got as many knots in it, so what it does is it creates a more supple or more stable floor. It's a higher quality wood, a little more expensive, of course. Um, but Numar's not looking to be the least expensive or the highest mass produced or to make the most number of units. They're looking to make the best quality coach. So after they build the subfloor, they then take your tile. They actually have a completely separate table with the schematic of your coach. They put all the tile on that floor. They then go ahead and they, for all intents and purposes, they bake it. They cure the tile on that floor. And then after it's been polished and cured, they didn't take that floor and put it onto this three inch subfloor, keeping the heat out, keeping the cool in, and keeping that asphalt from radiating heat into your coach on those hot drives cross country. Because we all like to go camping when it's nice and warm out. Uh, I love that these are not power. Um, I think that you get so much, uh, such a quicker in and out with these, um, with these just being manual trays. So I'm a big fan of the manual trays. These are a thousand pound rated. Uh, you'll see there are all the controls for your vacuum cleaner. And then that control right there is for your, uh, you've got a, a hot water line to the front of this RV. That of course is again, another optional feature. Um, like I said, Larry did not miss much. Another nice bay here. Here's where you could use your vacuum cleaner outside. And then of course, these are so much easier to show. I don't show a lot of these uh, when they're power the whole way because they take a long time to put in and out. So I love the manual feature there. Uh, don't put your finger in the door handle. Yeah. Um, okay, so your television here. What is so nice about this is when you're sitting in a lawn chair, where are you sitting? You're sitting on the ground. You're not sitting in a bar stool. No one's bringing bar stools on the road with them. Well, maybe they are, I don't know. But if you're not bringing bar stools, super cool. TV comes out, you can change the angle. You've got, of course, these spectacular awnings that cover the entire width. Uh, this does pop out. And um, you can all sit around, watch the game. Go Broncos, we still love you. I lost against the Raiders yesterday. It was a little heartbreaking. It's okay. Uh, take a look at this. So here's your egress door. So as you can see, if you wanted to come and load, very easy access here. Um, here is your deaf fluid station or filling station on this side. Of course, you've got this on both sides. And then I like to tell people, so first of all, um, the house, uh, house switch is right on the inside of the door, but chassis is here. So when you're closing up for the winter, you want to make sure you don't have any bleed of power. Just simply turn this bad boy off. If you do have solar installed on this coach, the optional solar will continue to charge your chassis batteries, even if your chassis is turned off. Of course, this big, this big tank here, this is what makes this a clean diesel vehicle. This is where all those extra diesel particulates are burned off underneath the coach. Um, take a look back here. You'll notice that there's no radiator. 450 horsepower, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. You've got your overhead camera. You've got your backup camera. Again, you've got 360 degrees the whole way through. This is part of that. And then here, very easy to open and access. Just pull this down and lift it up. I could do that without my phone in my hand. There we go. And here you can see all of that power. Of course, Cummins is powering this coach here. Your Cummins engine is always going to be all red. Then your Freightliner chassis will be all black. Your Oasis system here, this Oasis juice, if you mentioned that you watched this video and you heard me say this, I would be more than happy to give you a free gallon of Oasis juice. Please don't be the guy who gets low in the middle of nowhere and needs Oasis juice. Amazon is not going to come to Glacier National Park within 24 hours and you might be cold. Like no cold, no hot water. Because keep in mind, this is an all electric coach. So tankless wa hot water heat system. Always want to have a little extra Oasis juice. Uh, so here we have, of course, all of our um, trailer connects. And then right here, this is that airline that we were talking about with the brake sink. So this is provided 
uh, at no charge additional whenever you have a Freightliner chassis. Below this, our spectacular chrome Newmar mud flap, of course, giving us all of the creds. Dutch Star right here. People know that you've got good taste. You've got these magnificent LED lights. So um, quicker illumination, better alert to people behind you that there's something that you need to stop for um, right here. And then radiator here on the side. Here's that second depth filling station. Our all important tag axle, so our passive sear tag axle. I know we talked a little bit about it inside, but right here, this is the big difference maker. This guy giving you a little bit of pivot will allow you to not only have um, a smaller turning radius, but better um, ability to park and to be more nimble in smaller spaces. And then on top of it, if you can imagine, this has got kind of a cantilever effect. If you are flat towing something heavy, which of course you could with 1,250 foot pounds of torque, um, this is gonna give you a little more buoyancy. So before you hit that bump and really feel it, you've got a second set of wheels behind you that are going to absorb that impact. So a really amazing drive quality. If you haven't driven a Numar, we have them here in stock, available for sale. Come out and test drive. Let me show you why people buy this coach when they know the difference. This is an amazing uh, aspect of your RV life. I mean, you spend hours on the road going places and having uh, capable power and being comfortable in your drive and less driver fatigue because of comfort steer are all things that really go into making camping a pleasurable experience for you. Uh, this little guy here is where you could keep your uh, black water hose if you wanted to. That's what that's for. Maybe some gloves. Right here you'll see our water bay. Uh, this client has opted for the optional SantaCon system. What that means is they won't need a black water hose. Uh, this is already lined in. Um, of course there's a whole house water filter um, that is not attached because we have winterized this hose or this coach. And then out here you have your hot water and cold water shower on the exterior. So both hot and cold water. Uh, some RVs in this industry do have a um, exterior shower that is not heated. And I don't know if you've ever tried to wash a kit off with cold water, but it doesn't go so well. So then what do they want to do? They want to track dirt and sand into your RV. And then they want to take a shower with all the dirt on them into your beautiful RV. And you're like, no, I want to wash it off outside. None of that here. Get a nice warm shower, no big deal. Uh, power hose reel is super nice. Um, I know a lot of people make fun of me because I say that the power cord is a power hose reel. It's not. This is the power hose reel. Um, and you guys, these are live videos with a lot of information. So stop making fun of me. Put on some nice comments though. Like us, give us thumbs up, follow us. Uh, the more comments, don't like me, give me a thumbs down. The more interaction I get on these videos, the more traction we get, the more people watch them. And I try really hard to bring a lot of value to the table when you guys tune in. Okay, so, oh, I was just gonna mention, so there's a nice little um, cupboard opening right here. You can just, un you can close and unclose this so you don't have dirt and debris coming in here. And of course, this is a uh, heated bay. So this, um, in combination with the extra um, reinforcements that we have, in terms of insulation will allow you to use this at very cold temperatures. So we like that. This is not a power hose reel, this is a power cord reel. I'm getting better, you guys. It's, you know, a lot to remember. Anyhow, 50 feet, 50 amp, pretty spectacular. If you still have cable, that's weird, but there you go. And then, of course, this does have um, the uh, surge protector because this coach has everything. Uh, surge protectors are awesome though. Here she is. Uh, so this is a dual loop uh, Oasis hydraulic system. Um, this is one of the changes. Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, we have a gray water rinse this year. Um, that's new for 2022 for your uh, sewer compartment. So not only do you have a black tank rinse, you also have a gray tank rinse now. So that is a new feature in case your kids do go in and take a sandy shower. Uh, so anyway, so there's your dual loop Chinook system again. That's going to provide all of your hot water, all of your hydronic heat. And then here is the other side of that slide. Again, I've mentioned in the past, I don't like to bring these all out when they're powered because it's so inconvenient. But you have 60% of the access available here, which means if this slides out, you can still get to this compartment. And because it's not power, it's super fast. Love that. Now I know I open a lot of bays and show you a lot of stuff. I know I've also probably forgotten something. So if you are curious about something and I didn't cover it, 
please feel free to reach out to me. I answer my phone. I answer my, I answer emails on Sundays. I respond to text messages. Wow, look at all those batteries. That's eight. Um, they are on a slide tray. Simply pull these pins, pull this tray out. Easy access if you want to service your own batteries. No, we do not offer a lithium ion battery pack. We are pretty happy with what we're getting out of our AGM system. If you would like a lithium ion battery pack for your RV and you would like a Numar, you can buy King Air. We got a dual lithium ion battery pack and you can run that bad boy's air conditioners without even having it plugged in, which is pretty amazing. Uh, this is your other fueling station. So we've got that there. Beautiful 22.5, gigantic, lovely Michelin tires. Keep in mind the best way for you to get the best performance out of your coach is to load it up with water, load it up with fuel, load it up with people, chairs, barbecues, food, then go weigh your RV again. After you have that measurement, keep that on hand. Go to Michelin's website and figure out what they offer or what they ask you to have your tires inflated to per corner. That's where you're going to get your best performance and most enjoyable drive. So if you have any questions about that, please reach out. I'm more than happy to explain that to you again. And then here, you'll see spectacular, uh, very clean, very tidy in true Numar fashion. A uh, little bay here, even with some extra fuses. I'd still probably buy a set, but that's just me. And, oh, let's see if I get it right this time. Oh, we have a question. Go ahead. John Lee would like to know how much it is. Oh, how much it is. John Lee, YouTube does not allow me to give you negotiated pricing online, but if you reach out to me at 303, 562-8659. I would be happy to give you a very, very compelling offer, uh, personally, between the two of us. Uh, the MSRP of this vehicle is $545,573. And again, today we are looking at the Wiley graphics with the Mirage decor and Glacier glazed maple cabinets. Um, but yes, John Lee, thank you for tuning in and for watching our video. Uh, so here we go, look at this. Really nice here, we've got our, um, got our generator which is fantastic we also have our hot water spigot so we have hot water here in the front as well as our air chuck so we can air up all of our tires as well um, like I said this RV is second to none everything you need is right here your generators are very easily read you can start from here you can start from inside um, it's just really fantastic um, so I hope that this has given you uh, a little bit, uh, oh wait, Jody, show them that. I didn't do the air horn today, sorry guys. I like to do the air horn, but yeah, this has that big old air horn. Grant Russell, one of my favorite video guys, always does the air horn. He's, he's awesome, by the way, and you guys, he's back on, so make sure you tune into Trans West's YouTube video. Uh, Grant had neck surgery, he's back, on, back in action, helping us all to learn more about our products. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Uh, I'm very easily reached at 303-562-8659. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I wish you many, many happy miles in your new RV. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to get you on the road, love to get you camping. Happy Monday.